I'm going to show you today how to use Apple CarPlay on this Citroen C3. This is a 2018 model, but this touchscreen is common to other models in the Citroen range, such as the C4 Cactus, the C3 Aircross as well. First start by connecting my phone with its USB lead into the USB port down below the touchscreen system. And once it's connected, a message comes up on my phone asking me to allow the connection. So I'm going to select that. Once I've done that, I only need to do it once. Every time I connect, even if my keys are locked, Apple CarPlay will pick up on the touch screen. You'll notice that straight away, my touch screen turns into uh, the details from my iPhone. And I'm going to use these keys over here to select the general menu. <clears throat> this represents the home screen on your phone almost and you'll see that I can swipe through different screens to see all of the options that I have. On this particular car on the side of the touch screen we have a navigation button. When my smartphone is connected I can use the navigation button anytime to shortcut to my maps. You'll see as well that you have some of the commonly used options down on the side here is a shortcut when you are navigating as well. I can use Siri to select various functions <clears throat> or use the button on the side of my indicator stem as well. Call garage. <clears throat> Calling garage. Mobile. I can also use Siri to do a similar thing. Hey Siri, text dad. What do you want to say? I am in the car. Your message to dad says I am in the car. Ready to send it? Send. Okay, it's sent. The same applies to WhatsApp as well. You can send messages by voice either to chat groups or to individual people. Other apps that I have downloaded are Spotify, Google Maps, Audible for audiobooks, and all of these will respond to voice commands as well. If you have an iPhone, you'll find that Apple Music automatically pulls through to the home screen. And again, you can use voice either through Siri or the button on the end of the indicator stem to choose music. Hey Siri, play me some music from Apple Music. All right, here's some music picked just for you on Apple Music. The other thing I can do is to choose something specific from the music library. Hey Siri, play Queen. One sec. OK, here's Queen. I've got the volume turned down at the moment, but otherwise the music would start to play in the background. If we select now playing, you'll see there that the music is playing in the background. This is from one of my own playlists as opposed to Apple Music. It doesn't have to be um, from a virtual music library. It can be from music stored on your phone as well. Just returning to the main menu, You'll see also you can access other things like your calendar, so reminders for appointments and so on pop up while you're driving. Um, and you can also ask the car to read out messages that are received in WhatsApp or by text. Just so you quickly within Google Maps how easy it is to find a navigation destination. You can use a voice again to select a destination. Navigate to address. 1. Prices Avenue, Cliftonville Getting directions to 1. Prices Avenue, Margate And there it is, it brings it straight up on the screen for me. Starting route to 1. Prices Avenue Head south on Harold Road For now, I'm just going to turn that off. It really is as easy as that. As soon as you plug your phone in, the Apple CarPlay facility becomes live on the touchscreen 
and it is such a simple to, system to use. At any point you can deviate away from CarPlay by selecting the features on the side, um, things like your heating and so on uh, through the touchscreen, but you still get a prompt to things that are going on in the background like the music that you're listening to.